Hi everyone. Today, I'm going to show you how to write a literature review using a simple and easy to follow table format. A literature review summarizes what other researchers have found and written about a specific topic. It helps you understand what is already known, identify gaps in the research, and see how your work fits into the broader context. Organizing your literature review in a table format makes it easier to compare and analyze different studies. Key elements for a literature review table. When writing a literature review in table form, you should include the following elements, authors, who wrote the study or article, year, when the study was published. Purpose of the study, the goal or objective of the study, methodology, the methods used in the research, key findings, the main results or conclusions of the study, limitations, weaknesses or challenges in the study, such as small sample sizes or limited methods, relevance to your work how the study relates to or supports your research, tools for this process. I'll be using tools like Google Scholar, ChatGPT, and MyBib to complete this process. I have already collected five articles from Google Scholar. If you haven't seen it yet, check out my previous video, where I share tips on using Google Scholar to find relevant articles. Step 1, adding references with MyBib. Now, I'm going to use MyBib to generate references. First, choose your reference style. For this video, I'm selecting APA 7th edition. Copy the article link or DOI and paste it into MyBib search bar. MyBib will generate the bibliography entry for you. From there, you can copy the author's names and use them as references or in the bibliography section of your paper. I've already added all five articles to MyBib. Step 2, Analyzing Articles. Let's start with the first article. I'll copy the citation from my bib and paste it into MS Word. I'll enter the author's names under the author column and add the publication year, 2021, to the year section of the table. Next, I'll copy the abstract of the article and paste it into ChatGPT. I'll ask ChatGPT to summarize the literature review in table form, based on the elements we listed earlier. Initially, ChatGPT may provide long sentences, so I'll request a more concise version. Once I'm satisfied with the result, I'll copy and paste the information into the Word table. I'll repeat this process for each article, copying the abstract, analyzing it with ChatGPT, and filling in the table, completing the analysis. By repeating this process, I can analyze all five articles. Once the table is complete, I'll have a clear overview of each study's key points. This visual layout makes it easier to identify trends, gaps, and significant findings across the research. Pro tip for limitations. One thing I've noticed is that ChatGPT sometimes provides generic limitations. To get stronger, more specific limitations, I ask ChatGPT to refine its response. For example, instead of general limitations, it might highlight more critical issues like the cross-sectional design limits causal conclusions. This step helps ensure the limitations are more relevant and detailed. Why I chose abstracts, I chose to analyze the abstracts instead of full articles because the abstract provides a concise summary of the study's key points, such as the purpose, methods, results, and conclusions. This saves time, especially when conducting a literature review in table form. However, if you're writing a comprehensive literature review, I recommend analyzing the entire article. Full articles contain more detailed information about the methodology, data analysis, and limitations, which are essential for a deeper understanding and critical evaluation of the research. I hope this method helps you with your literature reviews. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos.